Hey YouTube, it's Dimitri, and in the last video here, we did the sequence function. Um, in this video, we're gonna do the repeat function. Um, but both of these kind of go hand in hand. Uh, the reason I'm introducing these simple functions is because they can be quite useful uh, for just generating data for testing, experimenting, um, or kind of doing manipulations. Um, but today, like I mentioned, we're gonna do repeat. Uh, and again, right, this is the repeat function. Uh, the way that the function works is you type in repeat and it's going to be uh, some value, so I'm just gonna call it value, and it's gonna be X amount of times, however many times you have. Uh, so let's just do a quick example here. Let's say I wanna create uh, a new vector and I wanna repeat, I don't know, the number three, 10 times, okay? Um, all right, we'll print it out here in a second. So it's copy and paste. So you can see three here is repeated 10 times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Uh, so that repeats that three times. Uh, again, you can do, I don't know, you can do vectors of vectors for repeat. So let's just do something a little more exciting because making a bunch of threes isn't too exciting. Uh, let's say we're gonna have Y and we're gonna create, um, so some vector here, we're gonna call it six, 12, I don't know, 16. And we can print this out and show you this real quick. Right, six, 12, and 16. And then let's say we're gonna create Z, but I want to uh, repeat uh, Y, but I wanna do it, I don't know, say three times. So we should have six, 12, 16, six, 12, 16, six, 12, 16. And again, we're gonna print out Z so you can see copy and paste, and you see we have 6, 12, 16, and we have this three unique times. All right, and the last thing here is we have an each statement inside of the repeat function. So let's say we wanna create some list, I don't know, but we want to do it such that, um, so let's create a list first here. Let's say uh, five, two, four, and I don't know, nine. And we want to actually repeat this, but we want each one to be done multiple times. So let's say I want five done three times each. Okay, so this is kind of ridiculous, but we're gonna do it here. Uh, we're gonna do repeat a, and we're gonna say each equals two. And we're gonna run this real quick. And then we'll type in B to print out B. Uh, and you can see here, right, each one's done twice. So we have five, five, two, two, four, four, nine, nine. Anyways, that's kind of the simple repeat function. It's not super useful, but it is a way to generate data. And if I'm going to present to you guys uh, the sequence function in the last video, uh, in this video, we should do the repeat function. Uh, there are cases where you'd want to run something maybe multiple times uh, in a row. Again, I think using the each statement is probably the most useful thing in the repeat function. So anyways, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And as always, until next time.